What's up everyone? Now today, I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. Now this is still tethered, however, you might be thinking, why am I making another video when it's still tethered? Now the reason is, because Red Snow has just been updated with quite a lot of new features. So, there are quite a lot of features, however, I'll just tell you two main ones today, which will help us in our jailbreak process. Now first off, is you will not need to point to Red Snow at any IPSWs. That is being wiped out now, and all you do is go through the process instead of having to select any IPSW. And second, is the fact that Red Snow now tells you if you're on the latest version or not. And that's about it for the two new features. So this supports the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generations, and the iPad 1. There's no iPad 2 support or iPhone 4S support. Now with that in mind, let's get started. So once you do open up Red Snow, the latest version, all links are down below, just go ahead and hit jailbreak and install Cydia. Now here it will basically say turn your device off and put it into the view mode on the next screen. However, let's do it before time. So to do it, hold your home and power buttons for 10 seconds and then after 10 seconds let go of your power button. So let's do it now. So once it has done your data, it will basically give you a new screen here which says install Cydia and some more stuff. Basically what you want to do is make sure install Cydia is checked and check anything else you want apart from install custom bundle. I'll keep battery percentage on, so I'll go ahead and hit next. Open your device now, you'll see your exploit going through your device. Now when your device has rebooted, you'll see Cydia has a white icon and every time you tap it, it will just crash. Now to fix this, it's quite simple. Just go over to Red Snow and you will need to make sure that you do boot it back up again after you've done the first jailbreak process. Now basically what you want to do here is to head over to Extras and select Just Boot. Now it's going to say put your iPod into DFU mode and it will tell you how to do it next. So let's go ahead of time and do it again. And once your device reboots, you'll see Cydia has its proper icon and when you tap it, it will open normally. So that's about it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Also, stay tuned for my channel for when an untethered jailbreak comes out, which will hopefully be within one or two weeks. Thanks all for watching.